There are several ways to adjust the air gap of a Cintron magnetic feeder. First of all, let's talk about where the air gap is. The air gap is located between the coil and core assembly and the armature bracket, as noted. The first step in adjusting the air gap is to loosen the jam nuts located on the left and right side of the coil. Once those are loosened, you can loosen the jack screws on each side. Turn them out several turns. Now we can loosen the four four hold down bolts. Notice he only loosened the four hold down bolts about one turn. Now, tap the core and core assembly inward. This will close the air gap. It makes it easier when adjusting the air gap to open it up. Now, turn each jack screw in about a half a turn each time until the desired air gap is attained. Please refer to the service manual for the correct air gap. Notice how when he turns the jack screw inward clockwise that the viewer gauge is tight and then it will loosen up. Notice how it goes in. Once the desire to go back and forth, make sure it is even on both sides. Now, you want to check and make sure that the air gap is parallel. The top may be a certain air gap, let's say it's 70 thousandths of an inch, but you also want to make sure that the very bottom of the air gap is 70 thousandths too. Make sure it is parallel. When checking the air gap, it's common practice to only check the two ends and not the middle. It is a machine surface. Once the correct air gap is achieved, tighten the four clamping bolts. Normally, a torque wrench would be used to tighten these bolts. Please refer to your service manual for a correct torque in these bolts. The next step is to go ahead and tighten your jam nuts. And this completes the process of adjusting an air gap on a Cintron magnetic feeder.